Hello, everybody, all over the world. Hello, and welcome to uh, High GPS. That was very much on this side. I haven't done an episode in a while because I've been sick and I haven't been at work and I have a lot of stuff to do. I'm not feeling totally fresh yet, but I feel fresh enough to be able to deliver a show to you today. But I have made some notes that I wanted to talk about, so in case I forgot, I was at a YouTube meetup, like YouTube Nordic, like... YouTube in Norway invited me and other Norwegian gamers or people situated in Norway and I got to meet up with them and they talked about a lot of stuff that I knew and they had some new features that I'm not allowed to talk about that will be coming soon but uh, that will be cool as well as we talked about 60 frames per second and other kinds of stuff and since you see I'm not wearing my uniform today they gave me this chaka chaka yeah YouTube and I also got this it came in this swag bag the swag bag also contained a USB chip. That's what I got from that. Other than that, I got to meet some Norwegian YouTubers that I don't really have that much in common with, because I usually do... I consider this infotainment, because it's usually tutorials and guides and stuff in Team Warriors 2, and it's just one game. These guys are usually uh, Let's Players, PewDiePie knockoffs and that kind of stuff, and they were talking about what kind of fonts to use on thumbnails and crap like that. But... I don't have to deal with that with you guys because you guys, my viewers, you guys are smart. Because uh, lately, like, I've been busy and stuff. But I've been watching the Steam Group conversation. I haven't been saying a lot, but damn. There's a lot of really smart discussion going on where people are actually debating. Like, there, it's not in YouTube comment, but it's in my Steam Group. So if you're not in the Steam Group, you're fucking missing out. Because these guys, they're smart. And they have even better ideas than I, that I didn't think about. So I will be reading that through and I will be making uh, stuff with that later when I have the uh, capabilities of doing so. So uh, I have a couple of things I want to talk about first because I've done a video in um, a few week or something. Well, a proper video. I did some videos like the buttery and some other stuff and I don't think I will do those again because I don't like doing them. And uh, that, that I want to do this rather, the stock episode that we're going to do today. The regular high GPS so show. But first I get a few couple of things out of the way. Halloween update hit. Fucking hate it. It's the worst. Low quality. Very little tested. Full of bugs. Doesn't make me want to play the game. Alright. So it wasn't as bad as the last Halloween update. In terms of amounts of unlocks you can only use when there's Halloween. But the map were absolutely ter terrible. It's a map that shouldn't even be in the game anymore. I mean they should remove Doomsday out of the official rotation. Because the map is it's broken. It doesn't work. But they're like, oh, let's take the worst map we have at, other than Yukon and make it a Halloween map. Herp. And, uh, yeah. Still haven't seen a lot of good balance tweaks, but I uh, hope the end of the line update that probably comes at the end of this year, because end of the line, whatever, hopefully it fixes a few things. But uh, they still haven't fixed the Eureka effect, and that nerf came out of nowhere, and it's bad. Uh, and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm really worried about TF2. I, I'm worried that there's like the, the, the people left. They, they just don't give a shit. They just that's what we get. Like, I mean, they 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 hired the the Nolan guy to do the voice for Erasmus. I mean, I like personally, I don't care about Halloween. I'm in a region we don't have really a culture for it there. So I've never cared about any Halloween update for any game or event ever. So it's kind of like yeah, it's an American thing, and uh, we have to kind of endure it. Anyway, before we start, I saw this really funny post on Reddit I thought I'd share with you. So if you're Reddit and you're seeing this on Reddit, this is Redditception. So this is relevant for today's episode. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about the stock pyro. Because uh, lately, I've been people have been suggesting that we do, or I do, redos of older episodes. Because some of them are dated or the meta has changed and stuff like that. So if you have a submission or an idea for like uh, a remake of an episode I've already done... Uh, feel free to po either talk to me directly or uh, talk in the Steam group, make a topic there or something, uh, and let me know when I will see. Because we we're basically covered all the unlocks in the game uh, at this point, so if you want to see some remakes of something, we can definitely do that, see if there's some, some updated meta. But in the meantime, let's take a look at Pyro and Pyro Unlocks. Yeah, look at this. This is why we people hate Pyro. Fuck your... Uh. So this one is called Fuck Your Medics, because the thing... Wait, hold on. Capture mouse cursor. Yeah, it should. Yeah, here's my mouse cursor. All right, cool, excellent. So, 
Fuck your medics, because this thing hurts medics when on the heel beam. Next. Fuck your buildings. More damage to buildings. Yeah, fuck your life, because it does more damage and hurts you really badly. Fuck my death, because I take more damage and run faster into my death. Fuck my flamethrower. This thing is terrible, and you shouldn't be using this at all, but it's a joke, and it's funny. Fuck your pool party. Fuck your jumping, fuck your sniping, fuck your projectile, fuck your skill, fuck my medic, fuck your my your mom, sister, and girlfriend all in 0.75 seconds, fuck your conga, fuck gravity, fuck your pyro, fuck your aliens, fuck your reality, fuck your air blast, fuck your stickies, make, make sure your reality is fucked, fuck your snail mail, fuck me. And this is ex especially relevant today because, man... I got a lot of submissions, and unfortunately I can't show all the submissions, but I did look at every single one of them. And uh, I think the total amount of kills, except for that one replay where he was playing against a bunch of idiots that didn't know how to play the game, I think we saw a total of two Fire Axe melee kills. And uh, Stock Pyro is... Well, for me it's really difficult because I am a sniper main and Pyros are like at the other end of the spectrum. And it's really hard for me to be good, so I'm just terrible. So, with that said, we're just going to go into the first replay. I'm not even going to do a demonstration. We're going to go into a Harvest, and we're going to be watching our first dude do stuff in Team Fortress 2. As soon as this thing loads. Ah, yes, we heard the replay start. Let's hope it doesn't crash. It didn't crash. Excellent. So this is going to be a Pyro, and this is going to is non-radioactive Bismuth is who this is. This loadout, he's got his cone, and he's going to be playing on Harvest. He's going to be playing Pyro. We're going to be seeing this entire game. And uh, this basically means wearing the stock loadout is the regular flamethrower, so you don't have faster firing speed. And you do uh, you do more damage than the degreaser, but you're kind of stuck with just running around using the shotgun a lot. And I tried to play when I played not to rely on the shotgun at as much and that makes the pyro just so fucking bad all right so if you want to do well as a pyro with a stock loadout first of all the fire axe is just totally worthless there's dart upgrades of it like the third degree like fuck your medic weapon is a direct upgrade and where is the balance in that well valve said well nobody plays pyro anyway so who cares i'm just gonna make this for myself and hopefully nobody noticed and but uh, well, we did we, we're watching we're watching so yeah, um, one of my problems I had with the Pyro is that uh, I haven't played Pyro in forever and I didn't realize how slow uh, the flamethrower does damage, alright? So I would hope to see, uh, maybe, oh yeah, that's the one, one of the two uh, melee kills we will see today. So yeah, not the biggest fan of, of the Pyro thing, maybe do something like Air Blast Hurts, because you know it's a compressed air and... It could hurt you. That could be something. But unless you use the uh, shotgun, you're going to be in bad shape here. So we're seeing Bismuth, non radioactive Bismuth, just running around and doing stuff. And using shotgun against other pyros is pretty darn effective. I'd say for the pyro, the shotgun is probably the better weapon he has. Like the flamethrower is just a utility, which doesn't make a lot of sense. And also, if you're a pyro and you die to heavies a lot, that is because heavies are the direct counter. Heavies and sentries are good against pyros. They're bad against that. That's why Valve gave it a weapon, making him them better at destroying buildings, because that's balance. You take. Why don't we give the spy something that makes him able to escape pyros? <coughs> yeah. Talk about being out of touch. Anyway, just hanging around, just not doing all too much. It's kind of just an introduction to display all the weapons. Been using the shotgun as well. Demo Knight comes on. Probably the most worthless class in the game. Things are being capped. Shooting the guns. Doing the damage. Having the funds. Two, one. And we die. And wow. That was it. So, that was just the intro. Kind of like to give, give the thing. And the hardest part for me is the patience part of Pyro. Because you can't min-max as a Pyro. You have to wait until it's your turn to do stuff. And we're going to be seeing this guy do a lot of work, and this is not Freeze for Fun, this is someone else. This is... Will Luigi. This is this guy right here. This is Loadout, yes. So, he's going to be playing Pyro for us. Here, going to be speeding it up just a smidge. 
So we're waiting for the enemy team. And uh, the thing is, if you go down here, like in this position, if you're a pyro and you run down to this, you're going to die. So we're going to see him not do that. He's just going to go up here and... Ah! Excellent! If anyone walks around this corner, I will air blast them back. Yes, this is good. This is actually really, really good for Pyros. Keep that in mind. Position, position, position. And burn a little bit. And uh, things are okay. Oh, we just gotta come up here uh, at the beginning, and then he's min-maxing by... If he sees an enemy and he's really far away, just do some chip damage with the shotgun. You can absolutely do that whenever you so desire. It is very much recommended as well. And then we have a very peculiar dispenser, but... Oh no, the medic fell! Extinguishing teammates, that's also important. Keep in mind, right-clicking removes people from fire that's on your team. If they're not on your team, they bounce back. Killing spies with the kunai that opts to have 60 health. And, uh, whoa, okay. This is pretty, pretty good. This is something I wouldn't have done. I would have done like, man, I could take this guy. And then I would have attacked him. But look at this, he's like, all right, biding his time. Hiding behind the rock. The heavy's doing a lot of damage. Like, it's also two versus one at this point. Like, medic plus something is pretty hard to deal with if you're only one guy. But here's where patience comes in, right? He's, he's being patient, he's just waiting. And here comes the soldier, he's like, charge! And he's like, all right, distraction! All right, get in there with the rest of my team. All right, burn the medic first. Get the medic, ah, oh, yes, we got the medic. And then go back to the heavy and finish off the demo man. Yeah, excellent. That is an A-plus in my book. Uh, Teamwork is what that's called. Thank you, Wesker. So, yeah, as a pyro, you... Even though he's listed as an offensive class, or offense class, works best as support. Because if you try to attack head-on with this class, you're gonna die to everything. Oh, he's being sneaky, going around the side here, just burning people. Uh, one thing I would really like to see with the Pyro is you do more damage the more you burn them. Kind of thing. So that makes it... Because uh, I had a couple of cases where... I was, uh, I was considering, uh, well, I was burning a lot of players and they had a lot of overheal, and I was just burning them for like, I don't know, a couple of seconds and they just didn't die, uh, because they had the heals and stuff, and I think that's like, not, not really good, because I feel like the pyro is, isn't as pyro-ish as he should be, like, if a pyro gets close to you and he starts burning you, you should be fucked. You should be so fucked. It's like if a demo man spans three stickies under your feet, or three or four stickies, you're gonna die regardless of what you do. The same is with the heavy as well. If the heavy's really close to you and he spun up, you're gonna fucking die, right? Same with the sniper. If he's fully charged, headshots you, you die, regardless of how much heal you have. Same with the uh, spy as well. If he gets up behind you, stabs you in the back, you're absolutely fucked. But if a pyro is burning you, that's just a minor inconvenience for you. So I would like to see Pyros be uh, a bit more more dangerous. And also, I'm a terrible air blaster. Like, uh, like my reflecting rockets is just so hard for me. Because I'm just so bad at it. And I was like, man, they should uh, make it so you can spam right-click. So you can just go... <laughs> and then you're like, out of ammo. And then you're fucked. And then you die anyway. But yeah, like, back to stock pyro is, uh... There's really no reason to not run degreaser. Degreaser shotgun is by far, like, the best, uh, combination. We see, uh, pyros like, uh, Steve, uh, one of the best pyros in the world, I think. He's playing Highlander a lot. Uh, call him the last air blaster. They're so good with air blasts, and it's like, well, if they can do it, then I can do it too, but it's just really, really hard for me to do so. Maybe we should get a new unlock that makes it super easy, like the short short circuit version of Air Blast for Pyro. So, who's this? Oh yeah, look at this. This is Shanghai, and he, <laughs> man, it's a lot of Pyros. Let's see how they do. Here, ah, oh, doing fairly well. Enemy Pyro comes in, burns his medic. Shanghai stays alive. Taking out Sniper, Stemo is left right-clicking and takes him out. Oh yeah, cool. Well, that didn't work out well for us. One thing I had, um, 
bit of a problem with is dealing with really good demo man that has heals from medic. As a pyro with this loadout, it's inc it's almost infuriatingly hard to uh, to deal with them because what they do is that the first thing they do is that they put a sticky where they're standing, right? So then they have a sticky where they're standing. They have heals, so they can jump away. And then you as a pyro, what kind of choice do you have? If you go forward, he will hurt himself and you and kill you with the second sticky. If you try to run away, he will kill you with the stickies because of the range and the plop plop. But a pyro is supposed to be good when you're close, but because of the way the sticky bomb launcher works, you fucking die. So I would really like to see a tweak for that. I think uh, the devil man should be like, like what? When does the devil man ever say, "Oh shit," when he meets someone? When? Fucking when? Uh, an Uber uh, heavy? Well, of course, everybody says, "Oh shit," then. I would like the pyro to be like the new anti-demo. Like if, if you meet, if you're a pyro and you get close to a demo, regardless of how many medics he has, he should be fucked. He should be so fucked that he should be screaming for mercy, and you should just burn him and be happy or something. I don't know. It's for another discussion, the whole sticky, sticky launcher thing. Back to the pyro here. Yeah, it's pretty weak. It's pretty hard to do anything. Uh, especially if you play against competent players. Uh, it's, it's really, really hard and you, you're kind of just like, if you, if you don't play this way, like you just play one certain way as a pyro, you just die. And uh, I don't think pyros are us are as scary as they should be because man sticky bombs are scary rocket jumping soldiers are scary spun up heavies are scary scouts are scary because they're just all, all over the fucking place pyros is like yeah just shoot him just fucking shoot him he dies bitch but luckily having a medic really helps uh pyro does excel at just buying time not killing it's like time waster there we go, taking out the scout, and ooh, there's a bunch of dudes over there. Get the ammo, oh, reflect the sticky. Did we, okay, we lost everything. All right, so time to reflect them back. Go, and we're out of ammo. Whoa, okay, grab the, hmm. Yes, running out of ammo is never a good thing. Yes, let's see. This one's kind of funny. This one is called Never Letting Go of M1. And this is Shanghai, still. It's gonna be moving up. Quickly, check for spies. I'm sticking for spies. Your spies are here, spies are here. No, are you a spy? Yes, you are on my team. All right, you're a spy, you're dead. Spy, spies, more spies. I'm burning, I'm checking. More fire, more fire. Spy here, spy here. Spy, spy. Is there a spy? More spies, mm. more spies. I'm checking for spies. Anyone over here? No. You're there? No. Spy. Spy. You're a spy here. You're a spy here. Alright, you're a spy. Alright, you're on my team. I saw you. Alright, you're a spy. You're a spy. You're a soldier. Alright, you're a spy. Spy. You're a spy. No. You're a spy. You're a spy. You're a spy. No. No. Uh, alright. CAP IT! Boom, boom. Alright. Good. That's something you can do with any thing. You can definitely stay on the cart and just press M mouse button one or your firing button as long as you want. You can, absolutely can. All right, next one. Okay, so this is gonna be Bell, I think. Yes, it's Bell. It's a pyro. This is his loadout. Oh, dude, I love these. Let's see if I can get the... It's like, sometimes, sometimes their eyes go like... It's like, did I do that? Mm. It's really funny. Google, guys, it's like one of the best apps. All right, so, he's gonna be playing Pyro with the stock, and we're gonna be see what he's doing. Already, position-wise, oh, <laughs> hello. This is a good spot because Pyros can actually deal with soldiers because you can air blast at the same rate as they shoot rockets. Okay, you can. 
but if you miss your timing, if you're too late or too early, it's hard to get back in, but as long as you're on top, you can actually absolutely do this. And this soldier is running. Not the gunboats. As you can see, he doesn't have a, he has the thing on his back. So just reflect and reflect. And oh, well, he's distracted. And oh, reflect the stickies. Oh, the bird. oh. What if Pyro's flames removed sticky bombs? They burn up. Think about that shit. Think about that. And I mean, like stickies that uh, you can shoot away as well. You can just burn them. Like you make them crisp first, and then they disappear. Like, you have to spend some effort on it, but you can do, like, multiple ones. Oop. Reflect. Reflect. Not really doing much, you know? Just standing and just kind of hanging out. Being able to... any point in time, we could have get stabbed. We were like, oh, I don't, I don't see anything. Whoop. There we go. Oh, it's a pyro. Burn him. Yeah. Taking him out. Easy operation. So easy. Oh, there's a sentry over there. Wait, let me do- Oh, you took it out? Cool, let's attack! dun 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 I'm pushing the cart. Cap it, cap it, cap it. Oh, it's down here. Sentry, maybe? Yeah, dance around it all day. Moving up, moving up. Okay, we're a bit far back. But soon we will be back into the action, and we're back into the action. Oh, reflect! Oh, reflect! Oh, missing the timing, getting the reflect. And... Out of the way and cap it. Oh! Hey! Oh, God. We did. We did it. Uh, please note that we're never using our melee unlock with this loadout. With the fire axe, there is no reason ever to use the fire axe. Okay. Good question. If I ever tasked, uh, t decided to do server mods, if I knew how to make a server and properly balance stuff the way I want, I would have. I would have. I would totally do it. So if anyone knows a way to do that, I'm all for it. There we go. Anyhow, this is uh, this is Bell still, by the way. Now defending. There we go. Burn him! Burn him! Burn him! Pyros are bad against pyros. Oh, just, oh, look at this. This is great. Just burn every, ooh, okay. You're dead, son. So, let's go back to that moment again, and this is, this is pretty good, actually, because the, the thing about pyro is that it's instant, consistent damage is what it is. I would like it to be instant damage that builds up the more you burn the target. So, depends on, depending on how long they've been burning. So, like, you do stable amount of damage, and then you have, like, a ramp up of just damage where you just, like, uh, just fucking melt them, right? Uh, and then... Because then it would be like, oh, shit, get out of the, the way for the pyro, and then one pyro... Like, pyro should also be good against big clusters of people the same way splash damage people are, but the thing is, like, the splash people, like, Demo Man and Soldiers, they can stay a bit further away, they don't need to commit as much, but a Pyro, you need to get close, you're like, let's, let's, let's see how, how close the Pyro needs to go before he, they're on fire, right? Let's see, uh, go out here and do this. There's a bunch of dudes, and let's see. Yeah, so you have to be pretty darn close. But anyway, this is a good example of just running in and just burning everybody. Like, switching to shotgun here would not do as much uh, damage to everybody. But he did take out the medic and the sniper, and this soldier is gonna die, of course. He falls down and gets blown up and stuff like that, but yeah. Uh, this is just me out of frustration uh, of not being able to play... ...to play properly Pyro, because I'm really bad at it. And it's like, if I'm bad at it, you need to make it stronger. There we go. This is the next one. This is Bell again. 
We're gonna be playing on high tower. We're gonna be seeing our second melee kill this round. This is gonna be one of the most epic things you have ever seen. So first, we're just gonna hang. Okay, we're gonna move out. We're gonna go up and do the tower. We're gonna move up. Gonna tie our shoelaces, and then we're gonna go up. Oh, there's a sniper. Teamwork. Yeah, teamwork between me and my axe. Oh, there's a sniper. Oh, there's a sniper. Oh, there's a sniper. Just bring out the thing. All right, you need to see us. All right, just speed up, speed up, speed up. All right, so shoot the sniper. Shoot out. Reflect. Reflect. The fuck. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, try again. Okay. Uh, reflux. Oh, okay. He left. Damn it. All right. So reload. Oh, he's back. He's back. Mm, okay. Try again. Damn it. Okay. We we will eventually succeed. Uh, yeah! Let's take a look at that again, because that was... That was some good uh, air blasting if I ever saw it. And he's like, yeah. So he's like, I'm gonna shoot another arrow. And he's like, right back at you. Right in the, in the, the shoe. Right in the shoe. Then burning some spies. And then we're just gonna... Hang out and get shot. Oh, more reflex. Right now, tie your shoelaces again. Going down. Ooh. Doesn't matter, got reflex. So, this is actually a good tie in for when I say, like, the uh, Eureka effect is to us uh So, we're gonna be watching some shenanigans. And we're actually gonna be turning up the volume for this one. Alright, so this is gonna be. It's gonna get a bit loud. But I think you, I think you can handle it. Did you hear that? We heard. Oh, a sentry! Sentry! All right. So we heard. Oh, there's a sentry there. All right, we we heard him leave, and we're we're just watching. We're just like. I hear engineers. Summer soul. No summer souls. Waiting. Oh, moving out. Get him! Burn that motherfucker! Oh yeah, taking your buildings and everything you have. Oh, you're just gonna die now. Oh yeah, that took surprisingly amount of time, and we saw that you had the Eureka effect. And uh, let's see, grabbing this and oh, what ooh, was it? A teleporter? And that's why the Eureka effect fucking sucks, all right? If you just like, oh yeah, there's an energy behind enemy lines. All right, he probably lost a teleporter. Let's find a teleporter. Let's kill a teleporter. Yeah, I kill all your shit. Good luck repairing it at half the rate. Dumbass. Fucking nerdgeneers. <laughs> that's a good That's a good term. If you use the Eureka effect and you try to be all fancy and shit, uh, you're a nerd. Nerdgeneer. I like that one. So yeah, like, that's just using your ears. Uh, on this one, because, uh... Team Fortress 2 does provide you with a lot of audio cues and a lot of audio information. And especially if you're playing Pyro, turn off the fucking hit sound, alright? You don't need to go ding da ding da ding da ding da ding and in the meantime there's like a dead ringer spy going off and he's like BITCH! Then you're like, can't hear anything because I'm going da ding da ding da ding da ding da ding da ding. So yes. Oh, going in and stickies can't do much about those. And we're just gonna go around the side here to, 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 to grab it up and going down. Okay, we were air blasting back. Burn the NG. Burn them. Yeah, you can't escape with your Eureka effect, dumbass. And oh hey, demo. Okay, okay, not staying in there. Need some heals and going back up. Okay, you died. Oh, there's a scout too. Like at this point in time, when you're a pyro, what can you do? Well, you can run out and you can get shot by two heavies as well as a demo man on the low ground. That are your choices. And the uh, burn. Yeah, there we go. So we're doing pretty all right. Gonna move in again. Heavies are shooting at us. Uh, you can't really engage heavies. 
when they're spun up, uh, regardless of which minigun uh, they use. Spy taking him out, chasing him, and getting killed by a sticky spam because, or a sticky trap rather, because the demo spent time locking that place down and then cashes out on the time he spent on that. While you as a pyro don't necessarily get effort for time spent burning someone before they kill you and grab a health kit or extinguish themselves somehow. Yes. So, this is gonna be freeze for fun. Ooh, it doesn't make a lot of sense because he's out a freeze gun. Yeah, there you go, taking out the spy. Oh, helping the medic, right clicking him, that is important. Crit's demo coming in, the most fairest thing in the universe of Team Forest 2. Wait, did he just kill the medic? What? Hold up. Didn't see that the first time, but anyway. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, here comes the crits. It's like the unstoppable power of crits is happening. And the meantime, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna snipe. Sniping is a good job, mate. There we go. And hello. Taking him out, and he's like, hey, kill our medic. The bastard. Well then, eye for an eye, asshole. Alright. And. Coming back. Reloading. Oh. Okay. Going around. Going around the flank. Something you can do. Oh, oh hello, Crits Creek. Yeah. Look who's happy. I can't see, but I know I'm happy, and this thing's in the air. And, or I mean, yeah, in the air, and yeah, die. Get stuffed. Stupid. Excellent. So an eye for an eye. You drop my medic, I'll drop yours. Gladly. Moving around the side. Okay. They're pushing back. Don't want to give them this area, because keep in mind, this is... This area has one big joke. If you control this area, they can't really get past. There you go. Oh no! Soldiers! Reflect! Reflect! Uh, ref uh reflect! Fuck. Uh, reflect the, the chuck! Mm. Almost had it. Almost had it. So close. That's what I mean with the air blast. It's very hard to get back in doing that. But I don't think, like, uh, like I mentioned earlier, like, Pyros needs to be stronger against demos. I don't think it should be, like, if a pyro meets a demo, the demo can't do shit. Right? The demo should still be able to do stuff, but you should, like, the degree of you getting absolutely mauled by pyro should be bigger if you're a demo man, because it's if you're a good demo and you land a lot of pipes and you land a lot of sticks, it's, pyro just dies, regardless if you use uh, air blast or not. Especially if it's in a 2v1 situation. So, using this kind of loadout and not wanting to die a lot, like here, it's like, alright, what do you do in this situation? Let's, let's see. The enemy has a sentry? Yeah, you can't. As a pyro, you literally can't run out here. This is uh, this is blocking you. That's fine. You know, this blocks everybody. We have a double man. He's good against buildings and pretty much anything, really. And, uh, yeah. Soldiers behind the lines. He's out of your range. I would like to see faster flames out of the uh, flamethrower, so... Like, the flames move faster, so... You can more quickly do this. Which would be nice. So, we're just hanging around the cart. This is Freeze for Fun again. We're just gonna speed it up just a little bit. Waiting for stuff to happen. Do, 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 shooting stuff with the shotgun, burning stuff. Do, 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 do. Scouts should be allowed to get away, that's fine. Lately, the reason, uh, one of the reasons I wanted to emphasize on the stock loadout of Pyro this time around is because Pyro's become very gimmicky, where he mostly relies on other weapons. 
Weapons such as the uh, flare gun, degreaser, extinguisher, power jack. Usually the most dominant loadouts and the stock is not as much used. Maybe like the only stock weapon that is very consistently used is the shotgun. But stock flamethrower, not as much because it's not that good. Because with the degreaser, all you do is that you compensate for the lack or the like disadvantages that the uh, flamethrower gives you, like the, the fact that it's a flamethrower and you have to get close to people and the way that the game works. You just compensate by that by having faster weapon switch. You just you're just more shock and less flames, right? So why don't we just make the flames better? This is my my idea. Of course, it needs tweaking and stuff like that, but. Uh, like I said, I think a mechanic where if you if you 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 do damage to people, that more people take two. You do more damage to people that's been on fire for longer. All right, for flames, you basically burn them. So uh, yeah. And then we die. Hmm. So, let's move on. Just reading the chat to see if there's anything interesting there, but there wasn't. All right, now we're on to my part. Sorry, bad habits of just laying in the laying in the chairs. Like, all right, guys, check this out. This is, this is me a couple of days ago. I uh, I like my power loadout. It's pretty cool. So again, playing on Thunder Mountain, my favorite map. Oh, what was that? What was that? Is that a handsome man? Oh, who's that? Yeah, very handsome boy. Guys, hey! I'm just doing some air blessing here, and it's like, oh, heavy shit. Can't contest that, especially now with crits. And we get Uber. Yeah, getting in there. Double Uber, getting a demo man as well. Where is he? There is he. Yeah. There you go. Burning him. Yeah. Burning the demo too. Getting random crits. Pretty, pretty flames. Here we go. Okay, and shotgun in the air. Yeah, yeah taking him out. Gained cap. Okay, we died, but we did something. God damn it. I need my chair. So, yeah. So the next one is tile, what happened? And we're gonna see what it's called a malfunctioning crit screen. That's what we're gonna be looking at. So we're on cold front. This is a map uh, where I played against uh, uh, this guy. Yeah, usually he has another guy. I'm not sure if they're a team or not, but usually he's like a frustratingly uh, good demo to play against. Like he uh, is the kind of demo that you should never be where you just stay in the back and you're extremely passive and you never play unless you know you're gonna win. It's a very like competitive oriented. And it does make you good. Well, it makes you good there, but not in the competitive setting. So, we're just uh, trying to get in here, of course, cold front. Like, I've only really played cold front as a sniper, and as a sniper, the map is good, but as a pyro, it's really fucking hard. Because the cor there's not that many corridors. So here we run in, and we do a lot of burning. And we ear blast the heavy away. Would be interesting to see some results of testing that air blast does damage. Not much, maybe like 10, 15, 20 damage per air blast. Would be uh, nice to see that because you know it's a, it's a steam. Steam hurts. So now we're just capping. Just cap, cap, cap. We're gonna move forward. We have a demo pan. Take out another pyro as well. And we're gonna reload using the shotgun a lot. Gonna compensate for not having to be so close. That's why the shotgun is great. Oh, uh, missing the air blast because my air blasting skills are terrible. Uh, Snipers and stuff over there, like here as a pirate, like you can't, like with this as a pirate, look at this distance. There's two snipers and a heavy. As a pyro, you can't do shit about this. You gotta go on the side. So let's see if going on the side will help. If, you have, if we go here. Soldier, yeah, we can deal with him. And then run around here, choo, 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 choo. Yeah, we could maybe go around there, but that will take a while. So when we go spend all this time getting around, they're gonna be on the point. So the distance that I tried to 
cut in on is still there. Uh, in this situation, we're pretty fucked because we're kind of outnumbered anyway. But let me show you a malfunctioning crits creek. So it's like, yeah, crits, crits, yeah, oh, uh, crit. Uh, what happened? What happened? My medic died and I'm sad. So, let's look at this again. What, what happened in reality? In the reality, what happened? Well, we're gonna attack, right? So the medic is like, yes, has crits creek, he only has a couple of pirates to go with and don't have a lot of choice. And then we're like, yeah, wait, I got crits creek. And then we get cut off by the wall. And then he gets sniped. And then I'm like, medic, you died. I will avenge you. And there comes a soldier, try to, let's see, air blast. Yeah, just get him. Boot. Ow. Another thing you could experiment with, I'm not saying like implement all of these, maybe just one, is when the pyro dies, he explodes in fire because he has like the gas tank on his back. So if you, if a pyro runs into you and he dies, he just goes boom. Right? So that would make him more of a suicide class, similar to the way a soldier is. Could work. Would make it so if you're a spy and you stab a pyro, you catch on fire. Or maybe just add a delay to that so you have to get away. Something like that. So, this is still me, I think. Yep, now we're gonna be hanging out here in Batwater. Gonna be burning dudes and shooting shotguns all day. So it's pyro dude. Primarily used the shotgun, secondary used the flamethrower. So there you go. There's a demo here, and ow. Once again, what happened? The fuck happened? So we're gonna watch this again. So we go up, and we're gonna slow things down. There, here we go, and. Is what that demo man said. It's like just what I planned all along. Exactly. So the next one is something you can do, just a little trick in case you're unaware. And that is stopping an airborne soldier with air blast. You can absolutely do that. So first you take the teleporter, and then comes the soldier, you air blast them, so he stops, shoot him with the shotgun, and then you burn him as he lands, and then he rocket jumps and dies. Victory! And uh, that was pretty much it. For that one. So, let's take a look at attacking properly on a 5 CP map. We haven't really seen that much 5 CP this this time around, but we're gonna sing it now. And that is Master Shana Hada, I think. Sit down. Yes, it is. Fairly competent pyro, also fairly competent in the way of discussing balance and stuff like that. He knows what's up. We're playing process, a map that I really like. Uh, didn't play on pyro on it for too much, but sure you pyro mains like that. That's a pyro man, like, people who main pyro, I got a lot of respect for because pyro is so fucking hard. At least for me, coming from sniper meta, it's like just so opposite to what I like to do. It's really hard for me to do well. As a sniper, you can kind of just stay in the back and do well by yourself, but as a pyro, you need to get in there and get your hands dirty. It's gonna be running around. Doesn't, uh, doesn't really extinguish the scout, but does a nice reflect there, killing the soldier. Spy as well. So, just attacking properly. Nice. Oh, air blasting all that stuff. Air blast here, and ooh, we're gonna go around the side. And oh, whoa! Hey, hey, hello, wait. Hold on there a second. Oh, the engineers are going. Oh, it's a, oh, there's a lot of stuff there. Oh, it's a bullet resist. Alright, sneak around. Get him! Burn everything. Burn, 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 burn. Get on the point. Cap it. Victory! If the enemy engineers are not building sentries, you can attack as a pyro. If they're building sentries, you're fucked. Alright, second to last replay. This is a long one, but this one is good to get a lot of kills. This is, uh, Master Sonata. So, 
going to be hitting people with this thing. This is a more more kills, but uh, yeah, people are mad. It's like fuck it, I'm gonna not gonna be using this. All right, so just burn and hit. There you go. Burn and I'm not gonna be engaging heavy. He's gotta run away. Getting health. Oh, there's a lot of dudes there. Well, we're gonna run around. Run, run. Oh, get rid of the soldier. Well, he died. And oop. Let's take a look at uh, some fire here. Jumps down. It's not been spotted. Puts one medic on fire. Burns them for a long, long time. There lies the first medic. And there lies the heavy. All right, so I, I want to know how long did he burn them for? Let's see here. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna time it with my wristwatch here. So let's see. Oh, whoops. That's uh, that's a bit fast. All right, there we go. So a little under seven seconds for killing all of that stuff. Fine. Well, it did miss some something, but uh, yeah, did fairly well there. So I'm just waiting to get another encounter here. Once again, going in and just burning a lot of stuff. Of course, Demonite's pretty good against Pyros because of the afterburn resistance, which I don't think anyone but Pyros should have. But yeah, there you go. I think Demonite should be absolutely crap against everything because it shouldn't be in the game. If you remember the video I did, what makes you good unlock? Demo Man is all about explosions, and then they remove all the explosions, and that makes it just absolutely terrible. But we have Master Sanahada doing a lot of work here, getting crits as well. Medic doesn't stand a chance. Of course, medics are able to run away from Pyros eventually, because they do run faster. The enemy team has three medics and uh, one class to heal. So yeah, he's doing fairly well for himself in this replay here. Any reflex and stuff like that. The only class that really goes, oh shit, when he meets a pyro is spies. Or spies. And soldiers, if the, uh, if the demo is really good at air blasting. However, if the pyro is not good at air blasting, he's a, kind of a joke towards those classes. And also for demos, he's not really that scary. I'm gonna have to do some more dry testing to figure out, like, what's the limit of a pyro versus a demo, like. How much leverage does a pyro actually have in the terms of core dynamics and balance and just how stuff works? There we go. And burning, burning, burning. Reflect, burn. Grabbing stuff. Grabbing more stuff and doing some more burning. And I think you get the idea. So now we're gonna run it off. Been a long episode. We're at the final replay. And this pretty much sums up my experience playing stock pyro or pyro in general. First of all, gonna notice it's the map. Gold Rush, which is a map. Oh, demo here. Reflect the. Okay, ow. So we're gonna go up and. Oh. Open up, do this, and we're gonna go up on the high ground. Ah, listen! Alright, there's sentries over there, we can also see the wrangle stuff, alright. Hmm, let's see, running back, grabbing health and ammo. Okay, time to attack eventually. Alright, just gonna grab the, grab the ammo again, maybe. No, we're not, are we? This is me playing, I don't remember. Are we, are we gonna attack? Attack! No, we're not gonna attack, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Attack! Ow. What happened there? What happened? We're asking ourselves this question a lot. So, we're gonna go and look at this from this guy's point of view. This is an engineer. And he's just like, yeah, just uh, going through here and take the teleporter. Alright, let's see if I'm gonna build something. Alright, so I'm gonna build a sentry and. What? 
Okay, one more time. One more time from not his point of view because like the model's fucked up because it's kind of hard for Valve to make uh, a replay system that works. All right, so let's see if we can find him again. All right, there he is. Moving out. Now we can't see him, now he's invisible. All right, there he is, there he is, all right. So, this is me. Gonna slow it down. All right, so he comes out of teleport. He's like, all right, gotta build stuff. Got to build stuff. Here we come. Oh, we're gonna burn him. And he just whacks us with a random crit and we fucking die. So, he was like, building buildings. <laughs> Kill the guy. So yeah, that was the stock pyro. My personal opinion, kind of weak. I would like to see some changes to the pyro. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do, but I feel like demo man, like demo man in general, like especially the sticky launcher is pretty darn good. Like I said in the previous video, I would like to see a split where you get a sticky where you can't air detonate and they make another one that is made for air detonations. So one that you can't use traps with, or you can trap, but not as well. And one where you can't do air detonations, but they do kind of more damage when they land on the ground and stuff like that. Uh, also for Pyro, I would like to do, see some experiment, experimentation with fiery explosion when they die. Because they do wear a propane tank, and on a lot of games, a lot of flamethrower dudes, when you kill them, they they they, they, like, they fall, and then they go... Pfft. So unless the Pyro splats, or I guess when he splats, he explodes in fire. So if you kill him with explosives, he goes... Pfft. But if you kill him with bullets or melees, he doesn't. Also, for the fire axe, that thing is just fucking worthless. Like, if I have any suggestions for that... I have a, I have a couple of suggestions that I've been thinking about. One is you could add bleed damage to it. The same you can do with the bone saw. You could add bleed to it so that it... They take additional damage. Or you could make it throwable, like the cleaver. Right-click throws it. So the pyro goes... And then he throws the fire axe. And it's scary. That they could do. Definitely could do that. So, yeah. That's been the episode for... Uh, not next week, but the week after that. We're going to be looking at the uh, battalion's backup. I don't think we will look at that one. I'm just going to double check. I don't think we have that. But I will double check. Let's see here, because uh, I'm, I'm still sick, so my like, focus is kind of low. Yeah, we haven't done it, I thought, exactly. So yeah, we're going to be doing uh, doing that, but now it's back up. Of course, if you have suggestions of things to remake and stuff as well, you can do that. And since episode 200 is coming up, episode 200 is going to be a highlight of episode 100 to 199. The highlights of that. So if you remember a funny moment, you could submit the time code, the episode, and you will get included in the credits, like submitted by your name. And we can do that. I will also post about this in the Steam group. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.